Technology allows me the freedom to focus more on guiding students to meet their learning goals and less on a paper trail. My students use Google Docs and Google Drive to share documents and folders with group members, and that allows me to monitor student progress and give timely feedback while they work in their groups. It really gives me the ability to facilitate learning without interrupting the learning process. I use technology to motivate group collaboration among my students. I've found that some students who are reluctant to respond and engage verbally have found a new voice when given digital tools. Technology has really opened doors for my students. Technology allows me and my students to work together as partners in learning. Students can access their work on a mobile device anytime and anywhere. Begin with the end in mind. I always start any lesson plan with the learning goals and student outcomes. Good lesson design is really the key to making the effective use of technology. I think collaboration can take many forms. Uh, partners, groups. It's important to decide who will be doing the collaboration and be very clear with your student expectations. Sometimes I like to give students the freedom to choose the groups and sometimes I assign groups with a special purpose. Technology should never drive the instruction or the collaboration, so be sure to choose the right tool for the right job. I like to use Google Docs for students to use peer editing or round-robin writing. My students post reflections and comments to a class blog. Reflections are a great way to check for understanding and reinforce the learning. Plus, they love sharing their work with the global audience. So, I use Google Groups as a collaborative space and discussion board for student groups. This allows me to see the progress each group is making towards their learning goals. 